Hi everyone. So what's overgrown cuticle and an elephant have in common? There's this really good quote that says, Desmond Tutu once wisely said that there is only one way to eat an elephant, a bite at a time. So what he meant by this is that everything in life that seems daunting, overwhelming, and even impossible can be accomplished gradually by taking on just a little bit at a time. And that, it's, that is so true. I really, really agree. I get so many questions from you and I'm going to show you a couple quotes. I wish you could tell me about very overgrown cuticles. Mine grow so far up the nail bed that pushing them isn't enough because there is so much. And this is a very good question. First of all, the cuticle grows on top of a nail plate, not a nail bed, but this is very often confused. So this is not an uncommon. Let's look at another question. My proximal nail fold, Rachel says, my proximal nail folds are stretched up about two or three times as far as the video you suggested. Do you still suggest the same technique? And there is one thing in common. A lot of people are kind of commenting that the technique that I'm showing is probably not good enough for them because they have a bigger issue. So you guys are right, because whatever you're doing, um, it's not going to, or the advice that I'm giving, it's not going to make any difference if you do it just once. So how do we make it work? But first of all, if your skin, if the skin around your nails is terrible, that's a very good thing because tomorrow we are doing something special that you do not want to miss. And I will talk about this at the end of the video. So first we need to understand what is happening and this will take me only a minute. So please stay with me. So there are two pieces of skin around the nails and not too many people know that they think there was just cuticle and that's it, but there is not. So now we have living skin around the nail and the technical name for it is, is proximal nail fold. And then we have a dead skin and the technical name for the dead skin is cuticle. And these two, I have to say, they are confused, I would say 99% of time. So the newest research shows that cuticle is a dead skin that falls off the proximal nail fold and it's stuck in between the nail plate and the living skin proximal nail fold. And I'll show you a couple of pictures and it's going to be very clear. So this was um, an original picture of mine that I took quite a few years ago and I got a lot of interest. So here you go. So the cuticle, believe it or not, is this white little flaky skin that's stuck on the nail. And what people think cuticle is, is actually not a cuticle, but this is a living skin that is called a proximal nail fold. And the sides of the nail here that are dry sometimes, or calloused, they are called lateral nail folds and it's also a living skin. So the cuticle, the dead skin, you can remove off the nail plate. The proximal nail fold, you have to take care of it, do not cut it. And the lateral nail folds, you can sometimes buff it a little bit if they are calloused. Okay, let's look at another picture very quickly. And I'm going to be posting more of these pictures, especially um, of pedicures, because you can see it a little bit better on Instagram. So follow us on Instagram. Okay, another picture, very good one. And there you go. So proximal nail folds and the cuticle. And a third really good picture, last one, I promise. Okay, so here you have, this is all living skin that is stretched and we'll talk about it later why that happens. And the cuticle is this white, very thin film. So the cuticle is dead skin and this is living skin and this is torn skin. It's not a torn cuticle. Okay, now very quickly, I'm going to show you three examples of what the normal skin around the nails is. Uh, so normal proximal nail fold. All three of these pictures are clients of mine. All right, so as you can see here, this is the cuticle and the nails are, and the skin around the nails is quite dry because we just took polish off with pure acetone. So this is why this is dry. So this is cuticle, the white flaky thing. And this is proximal nail fold. Again, this is proximal nail fold and this is cuticle. So this is normal, absolutely normal. Okay, another very normal proximal nail fold right here. And there was some cuticle visible here. Here, there was a little bit more cuticle. 
and this is very very easy to clean up so when you um, do manicures on a regular basis this is how the skin around the nails should look all right very quickly a third picture and this is our famous mr salon life it's this is again removed with um with acetone we remove the polish so the nail is quite dry so it is normal for this skin to be dry when it's when you have acetone used on the skin and the white is cuticle so the white stuff we remove before the manicure and this skin we take it care of so i've noticed there are two reasons why the skin around the nails can be ugly looking what people call overgrown cuticle so one reason and i see it very often is the skin can be hard um, dry looking and overgrown looking because of the trauma and the trauma usually is caused by cutting that living skin or abrading it so when people are a little too rough with their tools so when that happens your body think about it if you scrape your knee you are going to develop a scab so what happens is we because it's a living skin we develop a scab around the nail so scab normally looks hard and it looks dry so this is one of the reasons the trauma in abrading so that's a trauma as well and i'm going to show you an example okay so this is what damaged proximal nail fold looks can you see how this skin is um, raised it's inflamed it's red and it's hard so in this case how do we fix this so again going back to the scab when you have a scab on your skin what do you do with the scab to make it better are you going to file it no are you going to pick at it no what you usually do is you protect that skin until you know that a good skin is going to grow underneath and make it better and you're going to protect it and you're going to possibly moisturize it and let it heal right so this is exactly what you have to do and it just takes time so this is kind of how we go back to eating elephant which i don't obviously recommend kind of a stupid saying but i really try i'm really trying to um make people understand that it just takes time so the the more damage you have the the longer it might take for for it to um, get better but let me actually oh my goodness i didn't show you this picture let me show you another really really good picture of client of mine uh here we go and this took five manicures now disclaimer her skin is not dry because when people have dry skin um simple manicures that i do twice uh once every two weeks are not going to make such a huge difference with her there was a huge difference because naturally she's a very young person and naturally her skin is not not dry so just the gentle manicures that I did produce these absolutely stunning results. As you can see, these results are possible quite quickly if your skin is not dry. So this is number two reason why the skin around the nails can be overgrown, like you see in this picture. So sometimes what happens is that the, the proximal nail fold stretches. So as the nail is growing, when that skin is stuck to the nail, as the nail is growing, it's going to pull that skin with it. And if that skin doesn't have flexibility, it can tear. It can kind of um, tear off the nail and it can cause um, a lot of pain. So how do we fix that? Well, a bit at a time. So what I recommend is if you're doing this yourself, don't expect miracles after one manicure because very often what people think is that they they are supposed to achieve these amazing results after one or two treatments and really the skin around your nails didn't get there in one or two days it it took usually many years to kind of get you know bad looking sometimes so it's going to take a little bit a while to get better but you can get there without any fancy um, difficult techniques or anything like that all you have to do is you just have to nudge that skin don't separate it all the way um, because once you do that skin is going to dry up curl up and then you just don't know what to do with it so just nudge it gently in order for that skin not to dry up 
and to help that whole process you want to make sure that you use i recommend ointments something heavier especially at night urea based creams are the best because urea helps to exfoliate the skin around the nails and carousel is one of my favorite creams just dab of that around the nails every like small small amount every night and then during the day just a drop of oil after each time you wash your hands that keeps the skin flexible and it will it will by nudging it back it will kind of nicely uh, bounce back eventually but do that every single day very very gently after you preferably take a shower so the skin is softer tiny tiny bit and at the end of the video i'll show you how quickly that um, how how easy that is so i'm going to show you another um, example of one of my clients and this is after the first manicure as you can see this is not mm, you know perfect looking nails but again it's a process it just takes a little bit of time so after this manicure i suggested to the client to use creams on a regular basis and the oil she actually used uh, daddy oil i remember after she washes her hands and take a look how the skin looked so there's still a little bit of stretching but after the second so this was before the first manicure this was after the first manicure this was before the second manicure and this was after the second manicure and as you can see because her skin was not really that dry and because she used the oil look how beautiful her skin looks and by the way again i think we are very often very hard on ourselves and we probably see a lot of perfection on the internet and um it is hard to come with terms that we're not perfect looking and a lot of times all you see is photoshopped images so they kind of twist our um the way we see things right so very often you know you see skin that doesn't have any pores that doesn't have any wrinkles um body that doesn't have any, any cellulite or any anything like that which is completely normal it's completely normal to have some cellulite it is completely normal to have some texture to our skin or to have pores my goodness i think we would die if we didn't if we didn't have pores and it's completely normal to have this skin around the nails the, the tight band that our body forms around the nail because that is created so the um, bacteria and pathogens don't get into the matrix so the root of the nail so this is a protective band of skin that is supposed to be there it just it's nice when that area is nice and and tidy looking but in my opinion there is nothing wrong with it obviously and um it's supposed to be there so i'm going to leave you uh with references at the end of the video or actually in the description box um doug shun who is a scientist chemist he's known all around the world world he wrote three really really popular books about nail uh about nails chemistry things like that related to nails so highly recommend his books so there is a link in the description box explaining everything that i just said so you, you can kind of get a refresher by reading it really really interesting let's see if i have anything else to show you oh my goodness we have something really good okay we have here mr salon like before and after look at that so this was before and he used to chew his nails a little bit so this is actually why sometimes that skin can be overgrown is because of the the trauma and body is trying to protect itself in that area again that area is very sensitive the nail grows there so your body tries to protect that area so a lot of times nail biters and nail pickers have that area overgrown because again body is trying to protect them by the way people that bite their nails that skin is usually very inflamed and um, gets harder because of the um, the enzymes that we have in our saliva that are very irritating mm -hmm. to the skin but can you see how again we just did very gentle manicures on a regular basis and this is this is how nice the skin is around the nails now see there is no stretched areas there is no no peeling nothing this was before the manicure by the way okay so i'm going to just read a couple couple questions from you guys because i think everyone will benefit from it so someone is asking kathy is asking what do you do uh with someone who comes with a huge cuticle overgrowth might you consider doing a video with someone who has a very thick cuticles 
I am really trying not to cut my cuticles. Thank you for your videos. Okay, so as you know now, the cuticle is not overgrown, but the skin is overgrown. And it is, I have actually a video of that client of mine that um, had a very good improvement after five manicures, but all you have to do is you have to do the same technique, very, very gentle technique um, on a regular basis, just bit at a time, and you are going to have amazing results. I wish I could show you a picture of my nails. I have overgrown cuticles that are so stuck to the nail that I can't even scrape with cuticle pusher anymore. I might have to file them just to remove them from a start, for a start fresh, fresh start, I guess. I think the cuticles pull my fingers skin forward and cause tearing too. It's exactly what happens. I always wondered how to prevent this from happening and now you have shown me. Yes. So again, you know, don't try to, don't aim for perfection. Don't aim for this perfect after manicure. Just, just have some progress and then just, you know what, take a picture of your nails before the manicure and after. Can you see the progress? If you can, even tiny, tiny, you're going in the right direction. Monica says, I stopped cutting the proximal nail folds since I found your channel a month ago. Good. I'm really happy to see that people are using the, the correct term. Or if you don't remember proximal nail fold, just say living skin. So I stopped cutting the living skin since I found your channel a month ago. I've been moisturizing several times a day and everything, but it's really hard to train the living skin to stay back. I will try and resist the urge to cut it for a few months, for a few more months. I really hope at some point it will it won't look so thick. Okay, so my question is, how long have you been doing this, right? Because very often people will do, you know, one manicure and then two weeks later, another manicure, two weeks later, another manicure, just very gently pushing and they really don't see any results. So I would say in some cases, like this client of mine, amazing results in five manicures, which she came from manicures once every two weeks. But um, in some cases, it's not that fast. So that's why I recommend daily, very, very gentle push back of that skin and you're gonna see a good result if you are using the creams as well. Don't cut it at all. Okay, last question. Wasn't the last question like three questions I am. ago? Yes. I would love to get your advice on people whose eponychium is overgrown and extends far onto the nail plate. Should you just gently push it back? Yes. Is it possible to cut it at all? No. And lastly, is there any way to stop them from growing back thick again? Yes. So I sometimes hear about those cases of the, the nail being covered halfway down by the cuticle. And I mean, maybe it's possible. I have it in 30 years of doing manicures, haven't seen, unless someone is a biter, then yes. But normal nails, you don't see that. So I don't, I don't know. I would love to see the picture. So uh, eponychium is not overgrown the eponychium check out the link that i show you in the description box so eponychium actually makes cuticles so eponychium is a very very thin layer of cells that is underneath the proximal nail fold that produces the cuticle so you can't have overgrown eponychium but the reason why she probably says that because in many um in a lot of literature and many different posts that's what people were calling it in the past but that's um in Inaccurate, no? Improper, inaccurate. Incorrect. Incorrect, exactly. Should you just gently push them back? Yes, it, the skin back, yes. They were often on a regular basis. Is it po possible to cut it? No, because that's not how you fix skin, not by cutting it. And lastly, is there any way to stop them from growing back thick again? Yes. So the reason why they grow thick is because of the trauma or being stuck. So if you remove the trauma, if you don't let them stick to the nail, you won't have an issue. <laughs> And if you don't irritate that skin. Okay, you know what? I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to just give you um, actually one more thing. But at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some feedback from one, two, three, four, five of our wonderful viewers and how good of uh, results they are having with this very gentle technique. And before I go, so I wanted to mention something very exciting. So what we are doing is, okay, please help me out here. We are doing a, a um, challenge. We're doing a challenge. So today is Wednesday, no? Not Tuesday. So Tuesday. Okay, let's look at the calendar. So we are doing a challenge. And we are going, if you have a very bad skin around the nails, 
that's a very good thing because take a before picture and then a month from now take an after picture with our very gentle just push back our very gentle technique like i just described today and tomorrow we're going to do another video specifically about this cha this challenge just to kind of discuss it a little bit um, in more detail because i'm going to show you how to take the pictures properly this is very important but yes the challenge is going to be announced tomorrow it's going to start probably on saturday or, or sunday we're gonna think about it and post more info <laughs> tomorrow please watch the the video tomorrow about the challenge and there are going to be uh three winners and three prizes and pictures and videos and everything else so please watch the videos super exciting thank you so much for watching please comment in the comment section if you are interested in a challenge we are super excited did i say that many times okay thank you so much for watching see you soon guys see you tomorrow bye